I am running to be president for all of America. We are all here because we love our country, right? Not for some, but for all. Cheaters. Nasty people. Fraud. Oh, we're not going to have a country left. Lion. Predators. So now we have a new victim. Lion Kamala Harris. I know Donald Trump's type. L-Y-I-N about sexual abuse. You're fired. There's a crisis in our country that's deeper than any of the other issues that politicians normally talk about. It's a crisis of division. And it took us 230 years of visionary, disciplined leadership by Republican and Democratic presidents to build up those reservoirs of love and respect and moral authority around the globe. And being part of a community is painful because you can't just make decisions based upon your own self-interest. You have to account for the costs and impacts of those decisions on other people. We need to learn to talk with each other, dispute, have conversation and discourse without hating each other. We need to start being kind to each other. We need to start being respectful to each other. This tribalistic, us versus them thinking is tearing us apart. And it's... We've given Democrats a chance to fix this country. We've given Republicans a chance. What has not had a chance is a unity government headed by an independent president beholden to no party, free from corporate influence, owing no favors to the Washington establishment, and ready to recruit the best ideas from both parties and from all of those who've been left out. This is the path back to a strong and prosperous America. I know people are ready for it because everywhere I go, people tell me they're sick and tired of the division and they're sick of the hatred. They want mature leadership that isn't about us versus them. With your help, I aspire to offer that kind of leadership and head the first unity government of the United States of America since George Washington. God bless you and God bless our country.